patient into the car and still be able to um, assess your patient and get the, the head or the airway. So our goal is to always enter on the passenger side of the vehicle. So as you can see, the first thing that we do is the person in the back will put his arms under the armpits and grab onto the hands because if they're unresponsive, it's a lot harder um, to keep those arms down. What Sarah's doing is she crosses the legs over and that kind of, when you cross them over, you can grab onto the pant leg or underneath onto the ankle and that kind of holds those legs up. And if you, we use this technique whenever we encourage people between hallways or buildings when you have two people, it's the easiest way. Um, some people try to go between the legs and they realize that some of those hallways and doors are pretty narrow. And especially going into the vehicle. So they'll line up there, we always make sure that their head, one of us will be at the feet. They lift up, the car door will open, and she basically walks the patient into the vehicle. And at this point, they can adjust, they can slide them down, bend the knees if they need. And your goal would basically be to land that right here, passenger side. You can do it always at one driver, and then you take that passenger seat and push the way forward. Like I said, it's, it's not the most ideal situation, but for us, sometimes you don't always have the rest of the stage. You know, stop operations. Here's another real chair if you need it. operations without us. So, the way that they're doing it for is pretty effective um, to account for the method just to make it a little easier.